Hi folks, today I thought I would show you around my studio because it's all finished and it's a lovely day today and it's tidy, most importantly. <laughs> so let's go on up. <laughs> important little section here and and that is the tea section these are the mugs obviously and the kettle um the tea is just down here to keep them out of the sun because teas don't really like being in the sun i would really recommend the chocolate mint one this one here um that's it in um tea bag form and then i've also got it in loose leaf and then there's a pumpkin spice one as well these are from honey and sons and yeah they do amazing uh, an amazing variety of teas and their chocolate ones are just spot on it's a little honey jukes tin here which doesn't have tea in it it has rubber bands and, and bits and bobs all right then we've got this spot here which is where i film my videos i'm going to start with the bag which is a new bag i usually just use tote bags for my larger items but i wanted a nice bag that i could fit my laptop in or my ipad and this does actually fit both it makes it very heavy but it does work so it's more like a briefcase you can take the straps off in behind the bag there's a cushion that says border collie brewery and it's kind of adorable this is actually in all of my videos but you wouldn't see it because it's always behind my back uh, but seeing as i have a border collie that seemed appropriate this is a writing desk, a, an antique writing desk. It was my grandfather's and we brought it over from the UK. I don't use it to write or work on anymore. I used to when it was down in the house, um, but it really is just for storage at the moment. There are drawers down the bottom. Obviously all the old books here that are beautiful and bluish. <laughs> And then under the witch's hat, which I've got for Instagram photography, haven't actually used yet, but I will. We've got the kiwi in the bell jar, the, the, the classic. <laughs> um, I'll show you a close up of this in, in a moment. But this here is a, a black family tree scarf. I'm not sure how well you're gonna see that. But this was a Loot Crate exclusive scarf that I got earlier in the year and look it's got Sirius on it all blacked out and I wear a lot of green so this just was perfect this is one of my favorite scarves so this is just a little vase but when you put a marble on top it looks like a stopper and it looks like a potion bottle which makes me very happy this here is a pin it's an alethiometer and this is a pin from Hannah Hitchman that's their details on the back there. I mean, you know how much I love Philip Pullman, so had to have that. Working my way over, this is the desk that I sit at most of the day, most days. <laughs> I spend a lot of time here, and so I like to, I like to keep it tidy and clear if I can. Um, often it has postage stuff all over it, and all of that but um yeah at the moment it's just got my laptop and that's my ipad over there and my phone and the wooden coaster there is one that you probably see in a few of my instagram pictures that's going to be an ongoing feature from now on you're going to see a lot of things that feature in my um well, that, that star in my instagram pictures uh because a lot of the sort of ornaments and things that i've got around the place are specifically here for that reason this cushion is one that i will the cushion cover is one that i made from some fabric it's quilting fabric i think my mum found it in australia and down here there is a suitcase i actually got this for a newt scamander cosplay a couple of years ago in the uk and i brought it back with me because it's turned out to be very useful and uh, i i love the vintage aesthetic as you've probably gathered by now you know what i'm gonna unpack the suitcase I'll show you what's in here um so we got yeah some of my 
bookmarks, vintagey bookmarks. Another one, that's one of my greetings cards. And then some of the notebooks there. You've got some tote bags too in there. Um, so I take this bag with me this uh, suitcase with me if I'm showing my work anywhere. Um, so any retail outlets who might be interested in, in selling my stuff, sort of gift shops and things. Uh, so that's the purpose of this. And I try to have a sample of at least one of my, um, of each of my things. Got a little brochure of the photography of my stuff. So this is the stuff you see on Instagram, but it's quite nice to see it in print actually like this. Um, so yeah, various things are there. And then yeah, some cards, more New Zealandy things, a calendar that I plan to put out later in the year. But if you're interested in a, a vintage book calendar, let me know. It's kind of, it's got the novel notebooks designs in there. And yeah, more notebooks and things. There's one of my moth bookmarks. And yeah, I mean, if you want to have a closer look at any of this stuff, Instagram's the place to go. Then we come to the first of the bookshelves. And on top, we have a print from Holly Exley illustration. And you see a few of her things around the place. And then we've also got a painting, which was done by a friend of mine, and these are bone carvings, Maori bone carvings. And I just love the colors that she's used in there. We have two jars with ribbon in, hooray. Uh, this is just kind of decorative, but these, um, the, this blue ribbon I do use for some of my bookmarks. My biggest fan, oh dear, it's so small. Um, it's yeah just a little USB fan and it's very useful in summer and my fifth well it's actually my dad's 50 millimeter lens it's a, a manual lens from back in the day of film but it fits on my camera and it, it gives me a, a really nice result so I do use that sometimes then we have miscellaneous Lyra things chew toys a blanket things that she's destroyed they live in there <laughs> and these are some more uh, notebooks over here over this side miscellaneous postage things well not so miscellaneous there are um, return address labels and stickers and postage stamps and then I've got my planner there so that's all the boring stuff this is where the more exciting stuff lives the books or the beginnings of the books. These are all the books that are too big to fit on my other shelves. Over here, there is another Holly Exley thing and that is um, Ocean Bingo with all of her beautiful illustrations. I'm yet to play that. I need to find some people who want to play bingo with me. <laughs> and yeah, some old sketchbooks over there as well. Uh, the top, things like ribbon and washi tape and packaging supplies, uh, bags, paper bags that I put my stuff in you know, when I'm selling them at markets and then I've got receipts and things down the bottom. The bookshelves, hooray. Oh, nicely framed, but you can't see everything. There we go. So this is the top of the bookshelf. And as you can see, there's a microphone over there that I use for podcasts. And there's a little box that has, again, little bits and bobs in it. <laughs> I think there's some jewelry or something, things that I use for flat lays. A lot of this is now stuff that I use for flat lathes. Uh, pine cones, lots of pine cones, well three pine cones, and then some, some stones which I use occasionally in photography and a, a white kina shell or um, sea urchin shell as you call them in you know, most places. Uh, oh there's a feather, that's a feather that I would have found at the beach. A book that I've wrapped up to look like a present which makes it more exciting than it probably is. But this looks great in, in Instagram pictures because it goes with everything because it's brown. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, then we've got some fake flowers in a little green vase. It's sort of toppling over a little bit. A little postcard from a local artist called Tamsin Baxendale, which is rather cute. This is by Janet Hill. It's a print and you can buy them on her Etsy shop. I've been eyeing this up for a long time and bought it a few months ago. 
Up the top here we have one of the few prints that is actually framed and this I bought in Society6. It is Quoth from The Name of the Wind. It's by David Pavan and I think it really captures the magic of those books. Back down again we've got kind of miscellaneous stuff here. Um, this print is by Holly Exley again and it is her Beatrix Potter print so they're all objects that are associated with Beatrix Potter. We've got a moth, it's an atlas moth and I just think it's beautiful. Then we have a cauldron mug, hooray! I bought this at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour uh, last year. This again features in many of my Instagram pictures because who doesn't love a cauldron? <laughs> and um, little Name of the Wind earrings, these are from someone called just one more chapter I think is is their username on Etsy I will link it down below they've got a little um, New Zealand wooden drawer thing and that's got some earrings in well this is my favorite teapot I have borrowed it from my mum <laughs> not that she uses it it's very pretty though um, it's got yeah copper and, and navy blue and gold on there and I just think it's so so cute this was my grandmother's and there's a teacup with a chip in it. This stuff is so miscellaneous it's not even funny. Um, a pair of opera glasses. These are my probably my most used Instagram prop. There's a dead moth in here which I have been known to use in Instagram photos. Mm. <laughs> There's cello rosin. Not that my cello is down here up here um, but yeah that is here. I've I think used that in one Instagram picture and then more Kina shells and a little um ramekin and a lens cap. Because I am somebody who's very nosy about people's bookshelves I thought I'd do a, a brief overview, a sweep of the of the books on my shelves. Um, I'm happy to do a full bookshelf tour at some point if you would like that so let me know down in the comments but yeah these are not all the books I own uh, but the ones I have and use regularly. Up the top we've got more vintage books again arranged by colour uh, with some little stars, a little star garland and I've started using those in Instagram pictures too. Okay more boring stuff over here. There's a roll of black fabric which I'm going to use for my book launch and there's a broom to sweep out Lyra's fur because it gets everywhere <laughs> and a roll of calico. So yeah this is this is my studio. Hooray! Gives you a, a sweeping overview of, of the whole thing. That's that's the general gist of it. Oh, I should show the, you the view because the view is the best bit. So this is what I see from I, my window and it's I'm sorry it's really glary at the moment so it's probably not the best indication of how it normally looks. Um, but yeah it gets really hot in here in the in the afternoons. And yes yeah, so there's some trees and then that's the sea out there which, hang on, let's see if I can get that better. Yeah, there we are. That's the sea. It's all sparkly. And then mountains in, in the distance. So yeah, I'm very, very fortunate to have this as my studio and have this as, as my view. It's, it's very inspiring and makes me feel like I'm away from it all, which is very nice for working in. That's that's the studio. That's my my little little space. This is my little piece of paradise. And yeah, I hope you found this interesting. I love watching videos like this. Um, so I hope you got something from it. Please let me know if you'd like to see a full bookshelf tour because I am more than happy to do that. And also let me know if you'd like to see a Harry Potter sort of mini bookshelf tour because I've got not a huge collection of Harry Potter and Harry Potter related books but I think they're quite interesting and there are some sort of oddball ones in there so let me know if you'd like to see that. As always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!